time is of the essence here. And I felt like it was important for you to be able to see and hear this in English. So I'm going to play this that was recorded by Arturo and Yael. Look at his depressed face. I just can't anymore. I prefer dying. It's a holocaust. It's a place that has abused their animals. I had previously heard of what happens here, but I met Yael. Yael, who worked in the organization Black Tiger White Jaguar for two years. I am Yael Ruse. I am 31 years old, and I worked for two years at the organization of Black Tiger White Jaguar. You showed the proof. I was shocked at what I saw. Look at his depressed face. I just can't anymore. I prefer dying. I saw the videos and obviously I couldn't understand how for so long no one has done anything. Well, indeed, the animals are in terrible situation, dying every day, euthanizing them every day. Animals that are healthy, but because they no longer fit, but they'll say that it's because the animals are ungrateful because they misbehave. When does this happen? Well, when an animal attacks another because they are dying because they are hungry. Well, then they get punished. And how do they punish them? Well, by putting them to sleep. Now there are not that many. They can't even walk, like Arturo was saying, not even three years. After a year, you see them without being able to walk, without being able to move, suffering. Until they are on the floor, literally. The animals are crying out that they can't even move. The workers give warnings, give warnings, myself in those moments of warnings. Many of my warnings that the animals were bad, that they can no longer move until literally they die alone. Or when they'd had the time to go up to the veterinarian, well here is where they would put them to sleep. And that's where the animals remained. The animals would eat their tails out of anxiety. Look at these. These are not only the animals that don't have their tails. These photos were sent to me by some of the former workers. They did not want to appear on video, and I've also added the ones you sent me. Do you remember? Look, it's one animal, two animals, three animals, four animals. And I wanted to show them to you so that you can be an overwhelming concrete explanation so that when people see this video, the foundation won't be able to say that only one animal didn't have its tail. These animals eat their tails because they don't have an enriched environment, that the activities to do this inside the holding cages because there is no food exactly. And in their desperation, they start licking and licking and licking until they create injuries. Let's remember that a feline's tail is very rough. It opens up and they start tasting the flavor of blood. And then they start eating each other, just like cannibalism. You saw a lot more animals without tails. Many, many, many more, like maybe 20 or 25 animals. Many animals. No, 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 look at this. The one I am looking at does not have a tail. It's just the bones. How dare they have the animals this way? No, no, what is this? Because they are all locked up all day. They don't have anything stimulating them. They're hungry, stressed, and they'll stay there until they bleed out. It's an immense pain for them not to have any tail. They attempted to operate on the first few lions. But, well, eventually one of them, well, this was the first one, ripped his tail off a beautiful white lion that died by bleeding out due to having a tail like this. He stayed with no tail. He bit it, I think, five times. Eduardo was notified. Literally, the lion was left on the floor. He died. I saw many disappear. Many, many animals went missing. I don't know where they took them. I don't know what they did to them. When they would die, there is a cemetery here in the back for the animals. I don't know how many animals approximately are buried back there. Babies die at one year, 11 months. Literally, they are left without being able to walk because of genetic problems. And well, obviously, they won't be attended on because they'll die soon. So then they remain there until they stop walking. They can stay there until they are on the floor, with the baby howls literally crying for help. Because they can't walk anymore, lions have died that are loved by many people. Eduardo has said that they've died from kidney problems, but that is not the case. They die from eating rotten chicken, and literally there are times that they don't 
or won't eat it. They die of starvation. Look at this. This is the location where they store the chicken. There is no refrigeration, and because of that, it gets rotten and filled with maggots, and this is how the animals are fed. They lose their mane, and the chicken gets put away in the same place. And again, it's given to the animals with the same larva full of parasites. Sometimes there is no water. Most of the time there is no water. Every so often they'll send a water truck if things are going well. These animals are dying of thirst. It's a story of terror. It's terrible for these animals to be here. Terrible. We are talking about more than 100 felines. There were 400 before. They have been disappearing for whatever the reason, but this must stop. And so it's not a topic of, oh, so maybe with proof. Here is the proof. You are seeing it on video. This animal that you are looking at is Lewis, baptized in honor of the Formula One runner, Lewis Hamilton. It was announced that he had died from kidney problems, which is not true. The animal died from a lack of attention by the veterinarian. Look at this where the organization stands. Look at where the animals are. But that's not all. They are abandoned completely. Animals of three to four years old that would be in the prime of their lives, that would be strong and full of life, so that you won't believe this is made up stories that will come out about this injustice. What they are doing here is a crime, and the Mexican authorities need to open their eyes. Because of an inspector from Profepa came here and they didn't notice, in one day I've been able to capture the ribs of the animals, and it is enough of what Yale has shown me. Animals that are eating their own tail, that are bleeding out and filled with flies. It would seem like we are watching a terrible, apocalyptic image of the end of the world, while a few lions observe you from a dark room with marked ribs, and if these images are not sensitizing you, I don't know what you have in your heart. No, no, I am no longer scared. No, I can't stay quiet. I can't stay quiet. When there are women out there that are reporting their attackers, women that lose the fear of losing their lives, Journalist women, activists that fight, that manifest, I can't be scared. I can't keep being a coward anymore. Claudia Scheinbaum, who is the who is today's governmental boss of Mexico City, well, it's the Ajisco. If I recall, the Ajisco belongs in Chalpan. And if you were a delegate of Chalpan when the foundation was in its important stages, and that you will support us now with assuring the animals do not leave, that we can block the exit route so that you yourselves can see them, so that the FGR and Profepa can go. Also, Claudia, letting you know that it's been more than 10 days a lawsuit was initialized, a lawsuit, which is from the institution that investigates environmental crimes in the Profepa, and up to today, absolutely nothing has happened, not one single inspector, and that's why we decided to release this video, and we trust that you will help us. Also, Blanca, Alicia, Mendoza, I know that I have been hard with you all. I have been strong. You know it's my personality that is explosive, but we'd like your help. We want your help because we must remove these animals as soon as possible. There are animals dying every day. They are to the bone. They are deadly skinny. And to you, since you are home, I invite you. I invite you to go with me to the vicinity of this area. If you want to become a partner in the rescue of these animals, we need your help. I will see you at the upcoming Tuesday at 12 p.m. at the outskirts of Six Flags, Mexico, so that we can go via caravans to the land in its vicinity where we are able to film all the images you've seen from this complaint video so that you will see yourself, can record your own images, and you will be a part of this movement. We need everyone's help in complaining about this in front of UD Apple and Profetipa and give the Mexico government notice so that we can generate enough pressure. The difficult part here is we think the Foundation may sacrifice these animals to get rid of the evidence or we'll try to remove them from there. We will be guarding, but we need you. If you think you can help us in any way and live in Mexico City, send us an inbox and we'll be searching for more hands. We need to be united. There are a lot of felines that need you. If someday you dreamed of going to Black Jaguar White Tiger, I invite you. I will take you on this trip. For many years, we have implored you not to share the photos and videos that Eduardo Sirio of Black Jaguar White Tiger was putting out there on the internet. 
we knew that there was no way you can breed so many cubs to use in those photos and videos without it ending in this kind of abuse. I am so thankful to the people who are risking their lives right now to show this man for who he is and what he's done to these animals. I am so proud of them for speaking up and for everyone who will be joining them to pressure the Mexican government to stop this kind of abuse. We need to stop it in America. We need to stop it in Mexico. We need to stop it in South Africa. We need to stop it everywhere that it happens. And you, you are the strongest voice these animals have. When you see a picture of somebody touching a baby lion or a baby tiger or a baby any kind of wild animal on social media, call them out for the abusers that they are because it always ends this way. Always. No exceptions. Nobody can get away with having all of this cuteness and then not having all of this misery at the end of it. So call them out for the abusers that they are and never, ever share those videos or photos.